Reef TV Up is coming at you here today. We're inside the barn shop and uh, we're putting together one of the simplest and easiest things we use to feed the wildlife here on the farm. This is a DIY deer and pheasant feeder combo feeder. I know it looks just like a traditional deer feeder but with just a single adaption or two down at the bottom and some simple technique. Um, this thing also feeds our pheasants on the farm. It's great because it uh, helps our pheasants get through the winter. Um, it keeps our deer in front of the cameras and then of course come spring it keeps our fawn and doe population um, up to snuff here when the, the uh, ground is still pretty frozen and there ain't a lot of forage for them other than you know dried out grasses and stuff that have made it through the winter. This is a great project, it costs less than about forty dollars to put together. Uh, we got several of these strapped um, to a few trees around the farm. It works great, it only takes about a half hour to put them together and throw them up. Um, certainly you can paint them in camouflage if you want, but we see no need to do that here on the farm. Um, they're pretty much waterproof, the coons stay out of them the way we got them built, and uh, they go up really slick. Certainly appreciate you watching this video, we're going to show you how we put this thing together and how we put it up, but uh, also if you get a chance, like or subscribe to the channel, we'll keep putting out great videos like this. Thank you folks. Alright, let's go through the uh, parts list here. Got a 4 feet uh, section, a 6 inch sewer pipe in green. 6 inch sewer grate, a 6 inch Y, a 6 inch cap, 5 6 screws with rubber washers to prevent water going down them, a uh, couple tie down straps, 25 bag of non cracked corn, and a drill with a screw bit driver. First thing we're going to do is put the top on this baby. Fits on real nice. I like to hold it on with a couple screws. The only reason the screws are there is to keep the coons from opening up the top and going down the tube and having fun in it. Um, in the past I've not screwed them and occasionally they open them up. Um, makes it kind of hard to find your cap back if it's in tall weeds. So I've decided to screw these bad boys down. I just take self-tapping barn screws that have a little washer on them and I just screw two of them in. It's not too tough. Just got to make sure when you go out to feed or fill the feeder to, to bring your screwdriver with when you go back out there, okay? On the other end of this uh, piece of 6 inch sewer pipe I'm going to put um, the Y on there. I'm going to make sure when I put that on to not glue it. I know in other people's videos you're going to see them glue it. But occasionally those things get chewed up on the lips and stuff by either a coon or a deer gnawing on it. Um, even sometimes squirrels. And I like to change them and put a new one on. If you glued it together it kind of makes a headache. Here's the grate we're going to use. Um, this is a, a sewer grate. You can buy these at any Menards or Home Depot. I like them because the corn can fall through them. This is the reason this works for the pheasants. You could put a cap on the bottom of this thing, um, just like basically uh, anybody else's, and just let the water drain out, but then it doesn't drop any corn. If it doesn't drop any corn on the ground, your little critters can't eat it. So we put one of these drain caps on, take three screws and screw it in. Again, we don't glue it, because if you glue it, you can't take it out to clean it, and inadvertently you get dust, debris, shucks, freezes, whatever. There's, there's always a reason to occasionally take these things apart. So we stick three of the same screws in the bottom of this thing, holds it together. Down the road when you take it apart, you unscrew it, you pull the grate off, you can hose it out, whatever you want to do. Uh, makes it real easy. If you want to replace the Y, it doesn't, doesn't give you any trouble, okay? So we put three screws in this grate. We're going to fill it with corn, and some of the corn is going to be small enough to just drop right on through as the deer are eating, it's going to spill out onto the ground. Now, yeah, granted, sometimes the deer will eat it, sometimes the squirrels will eat it, but what we actually see eat it a lot as the pheasants. This thing makes it great. You can basically feed two different critters at once quite easily. So here we are. We got the grate on the bottom of it. I'm going to shove it together. Literally, it goes in pretty tight. It's got almost like a three-inch distance. It's covering. Okay, kind of tap it down in there. All set to go. Never had anything take the two apart where we haven't glued it, so it's worked perfect. Got my couple straps. Get myself my bag of corn out here. Basically one bag will pretty much fill this whole thing up. Last three to five weeks. And there we go. We're going to head out here and fill it up. Basically took a, a pine tree and cut a few limbs off it. And uh, strapped it to the tree with two straps. Take the bag of corn and fill it up. You can see it fills up pretty easy. It's already starting to drop corn out the bottom. I'll Move some of this uh, weeds here out of the way so you guys can see it a little better. And it holds, one of these will hold about 20 pounds of corn, like I said, which is pretty nice. Finish filling it up here. 
pretty windy day out on uh, the day I'm doing this, but you know, again, the feeder holds up through it all. Water, rain, wind, snow, works pretty good. You can paint these things, like I said before, you can camo them, you can make them blaze orange if you want to see them. I don't know, we just kind of let them get weathered in. Doesn't seem to make a difference to us. Once you get this thing filled, we're going to put the cap back on the top, uh, put the screws back in, it's pretty easy to line up. Uh, screws again, just keep the coons out. This kind of project, all in all, I can set one of these up in less than an hour, probably done in a half hour. Within a night or two, the deer are out there eating this. The pheasants will be picking at the ground below this. Just fantastic way of keeping the wildlife on your place healthy and strong throughout the winter months. And a neat way to attract them so you can watch them on the cameras or from a distance from a window or whatever you'd like. Certainly there are other ways of doing this, but for us, we put about $40 into this and you get a nice feeder and ours have held up for years. Appreciate you watching, folks. Please like or subscribe and continue to show support. And we'll Put out more great videos like this. Thank you.